under the sea, under the sea, darling it's better down where it's wet and take it from me, up on the shore they work all day, out in the sun they slave away, while we be boating full time to floating under the sea. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Under the Sea. My name is Juju. I'm the cute and funny fish. How are you guys? Awesome! Before we start the service, let's unite in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today that we can gather in this service. Now, we want to give you our best and we are ready to enjoy the service too. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen! Who's ready to play the games? Because we are going to play Under the Sea Games! It's very easy. I will show you the picture and you just need to count how many fishes are going to the left and how many fishes are going to the right. Are you ready? I will show you the picture. Count now how many fishes Okay, one, two, three. To the left, how many? And how many to the right? Can you tell me how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and how many going to the right? One, two, three, four, five. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please tell me the answer. And? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I will tell you the correct answer. Are you ready? The answer is... I'm not telling you! Because <laughs> I will tell you right at the end of this service. So please stay tuned and follow the service until the end, alright? Let's everybody stand up now, okay? We will scratch our hands, scratch our legs. Okay, and then shake a bit. Shake, 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 shake. Are you all warm up now? And if you're ready to praise Jesus, shout hallelujah in one, two, three. Hallelujah! Our God is good, amen. Let's praise His name together. Come on. Let's walk in together. Are you ready? If you're walking through the valley And there are shadows are around Do not fear, He will guide you He will keep you safe and sound Cause He has promised to never leave you Nor forsake you And His word is true God is good all the time a song of praise in this heart of mine God is good, sing God is good Through the darkest night His light will shine God is good, God is good all the time If you're walking through the valley And there are shadows are around Come 
ready? Through you I can do anything I can do I can do all things Cause it's you gives me strength Nothing is impossible Through you blind eyes are open Strongholds are broken I am living by faith You're here with me And I know that you can do it Let's jump together Come on Through you I can do anything I can do all things Cause it's you who gives me strength Nothing is impossible Through you blind eyes are open Strongholds are broken I am living by faith Nothing is impossible Hey! Let's close your hands Impossible True you Blind and I Come on, close your hands Some holds are broken I am leaving my faith Nothing is impossible True you I can do anything I can do all this Cause it's you gives me strength Nothing is impossible True you Blind eyes are open Strongholds are broken I am living by faith Nothing is impossible I believe, I believe I believe in you, Jesus I believe, I believe in you I believe, I believe I believe, I believe in you Give him a shout of praise Wow, it's really fun praising God together. I feel like I want to keep on dancing and jumping for God. Yes, today is a really nice day, especially because tomorrow is my birthday. My parents have prepared a lot of gifts for me. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, really? Tomorrow is your birthday? Yes, it is. And my mom also prepared a really big cake. That's why I'm so excited and I'm so happy. Oh, Miss Crab, you will come to my house tomorrow, right? Please? Um, uh, okay, I'll come. Uh, Miss Crab, what happened? Why suddenly you look so sad? Uh, did I say something wrong? Not really, Patrice, but actually, next week is also my birthday. But it looks like that... That... It looks like what? Tell me, we're best friends! It looks like I won't be able to celebrate my birthday this year. And why is that so? Because my mom and it are really busy and they have a lot of work to do, so I think it's impossible for me to celebrate my birthday with them. And I'm really sad and disappointed. Miss Crab, please don't be sad. At times like this, you should pray to God and tell Him whatever you feel. Huh? 
praying? Will by praying can solve my problems? Will God hear my prayer? Of course He will! Praying is not only about saying something, but it's also about expressing your heart and tell Him everything just like Hannah. Hannah? Who is Hannah? Is she a friend of you? Oh, you don't know Hannah? You don't know Hannah? How about you kids? Do you know who is Hannah? Okay, well then, how about if we get to know Hannah? Elkanah and Hannah had no children. Hannah always said in her prayers to God that she wanted to have a baby boy. Hannah looks very sad. Elkanah, the husband, tried to comfort her. Elkanah said, Don't be sad, Hannah. I love you so much even though we don't have children yet. Every year, Elkanah and Hannah went to the temple to give thanks to God. Then Hannah prayed to God and said something to him. Hannah spoke her heart out. Hannah prayed that she wanted to have a child. Hannah owed God a doubt. If God gave her a baby boy, she would give her baby when he grew up to Eli, the priest, to be his helper. When Eli the priest saw Hannah praying, Eli the priest thought that Hannah was sleeping because Hannah prayed in a low voice and moved silently. Hannah was praying silently. What are you doing here? You shouldn't have come drunk here, he said. I pray to God, replied Hannah. Then Hannah told her what was going on. Then Eli the priest said, Go home, God has heard your prayer. So a year later, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named the boy Samuel because she said, I have asked him of the Lord. Elkanah and Hannah were very happy. And when Samuel was old enough, Elkanah and Hannah took him to Eli the priest to be a helper in the temple and live with Eli the priest. Samuel was raised for the Lord with his hope. Okay, now I understand how to pray and pour out my heart to God. Yes, God loves to hear our story. We can tell Him everything, whether it's something sad, something happy, or maybe something scary. We can tell Him everything. I can talk to God in prayer. Let's say it one more time. I can talk to God in prayer. All right, I have made my decision. I want to be just like Hannah. I want to always pray and pour out my heart to God. Okay, now I want to go and pray first. Bye, Patrice. Bye, Miss Crab. Happy praying. Okay, kids, let's worship Him together. Okay, put your hands on your heart. I'm young and do not know a lot Come and be my all I want to love you more Giving you my life and all You died for me, you sacrifice I won't forget you, Lord I sing with your heart I love you, Jesus I grow up knowing you I love you Jesus I grow up serving you I love you Jesus My life is saved by you I'll never forget, never forget I grow up loving you Know you, Lord, you are a 
One more time I love you Jesus I grow up knowing you I love you Jesus I grow up serving you I love you Jesus My life is saved by you I never forget Forget, I grow up loving. See, I never, I never forget, never forget. I grow up loving you. I never forget, never forget. I grow up loving you. Okay, once fold your hands. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your grace, for your mercy upon us. We love you, Lord. Reveal to us the things that we must understand. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wait, guys. Wait a minute, okay? I need to call her right now. <sighs> I, need to, I need to tell her now or never. Because... She needs to know this. Why? Why why doesn't she answer my call? Where is she? <sighs> What's happening? Is she away from phone right now in this important time? <sighs> okay. Maybe she's busy doing homework. Or I don't know because I need to tell her right now this is not fair they judge me this way <sighs> wait 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 have you been in this situation where you need to call someone but they are not there for you you need to tell her or him right away, but they are not available for you. I'll give you one good news. There is someone who will listen everything, every time, and everywhere you need. Isn't it amazing? You just need to put it in prayer and tell him, tell God about everything. Because yes, prayer is talking to God. Simple. Prayer is talking to God. Just like you talk to someone, you talk to your friend, you talk to your parents. That's prayer. But prayer is not your friend or your parents, but talk to God. He loves to talk with you. Just like you have best friend, you know. Isn't it strange if you say that this is my best friend or he is my best friend but actually you never ever talk to them isn't it weird of course if i have best friend i will tell her everything my past my secret and everything that i have i will tell her or tell him right away so having best friends means having someone to talk to there are no boundaries 
If you wanna say something, you don't need to just like think about it or maybe you think like, um, will she get mad? You just need to talk because you know, she's your best friend. She understands you. Or maybe he is your best friend. She or he knows all of your past. So no boundary. You can talk about A to Z to your best friend. If you have that relationship, so does God. He wants to have that relationship when you can talk about everything to Him. You know, in the Bible, when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, can you remember the story? It's, it's amazing that God came to chat with Adam and Eve. So, oh, 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 wait, 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 not only Adam and Eve, but it's also when Moses, you remember about Moses, right? It's someone who can talk to God 40 days and 40 nights. Wow, it's very long, long time. Have you been in that situation, talking to someone for 40 days in a row without stop? Ooh, I guess it's only Moses did that with God. And how about, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you know this name. It's David. Can you remember what and who is David? Yes, David was loved by God. Because, you know, he liked to have fellowship. He liked to ask God about everything that he did not understand. He asked God about many things. It all shows that God loves to talk to us. He loves when we pray because praying means talking to God. He loves the time when He can spend it with us and then listen. Just listen to whatever we say and He will never be so busy to listen to our prayer. Wow, you know what? He's the king of all kings. But the fact is, he wants to make a schedule. A schedule to listen to all your stories. Wow, 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 wow. He will never also feel annoyed. It's not just spending time with you he will he will he will never be busy to spend time with you but also he will never feel annoyed just because you ask many 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 things and share your stories to him so don't be afraid you need if you need to come to god just come directly and share all you have in mind or your heart. That's why you can share your feelings. Maybe yeah, sometimes we can't, we cannot share my feeling to, to my parents because they will think that I'm too childish. I cannot share these feelings because maybe they will judge me. Wait. If you talk to God, He will understand your feelings. So whenever you are sad, maybe I, I feel I mean, I'm lost. I don't think that my parents love me anymore. I don't think like my friends wants to have me in the group. I don't think like whatever you feel, when you feel sad, lonely, or everything that you feel right now, you can definitely come to God right away. And also, you can also share your feelings when you're happy. If you're happy, you can also say, praise God, thank God. I got a very, very good score, or maybe, you can also say this when you got a new game, a new toy. You can say, praise God. Thank God that my parents bought me that, 
That's 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 it. The one that I want the most. Oh oh oh. Maybe you can share your feelings when you are afraid. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't wanna be here. This is so. This this is so scary. To sleep in one bedroom, your own self. Is this your first time and you are still afraid? Let me tell you, you can share your feelings and talk to God that you are afraid. God, I'm afraid sleeping alone tonight. Help me right beside me now. You can talk to him. Your feelings. Just talk. You know when you talk to your parents, your best friends. You will not make a script and then write down with a grammar correctly. No, no, no. I I think no, because <laughs> when I talk to my parents, I will not use grammar correctly. But yeah, talking to God is also the same. It's not difficult. You can use any any language. Even he understand your slang language. Slang words, he can understand it, and also the best thing is he can understand all languages. If now I am in Indonesia, so where where are you now? Let me know. Oh, I cannot hear you, but I know that God can understand your language, even. You're speaking in English, in whatever language, but God will understand. And you can also share your request. Okay, let me give you time, so you you can tell your wishes. Oh, are you sure? Today is not my birthday. Can I? Can I request my wishes now? Yes, you can. Okay, I'll give you time. Um, one. You can mention. You can tell me your request. Okay, two and three. Tell me, tell me. Huh? Oh, what? Oops. Yeah, I cannot hear you, but he can hear you. Of course, because when you put a request. The Bible says in Philippians four, verse six. The Bible says this: Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Ooh, I want to present my request. So. Any request now? Oh no 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 no! Present your request to God. You know what? Um, not everything will be granted with of always yes, but prayer will bring joy. You remember the Bible story earlier about Hannah? It happened to her when she prayed it out. She went home with joy, even though the prayer has not been answered yet by God. When she came home, you know, the Bible say she was no longer sad. It means that she was joyful, joyful at heart, because she has already prayed it out. To God, so eventually, it's cool how God can answer every prayer, even though the answer is not or no big no. But you can understand that when you pray wholeheartedly, share your feelings, share your thoughts to Him. He is the one who. Will give you joy. John, John sixteen, verse twenty four. Let's open it with me. John sixteen, verse twenty four. It says like this: Until now, you have not asked 
for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Whoa, I want to be joyful every day. That's why you can tell God everything. He will give you joy. He will change your heart first. If you are sad, maybe if you are afraid, God will accompany you there and give you peace, give you joy to sleep well that night. And whatever we face, tell God because He loves to have time to pray. And no, 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 He loves to have time to listen to our prayer. That's it. That's why I can talk to God in prayer. Okay, you can do this with me. I can talk to God in prayer. And now, I'm going to pray for you. So, um, fold your hands, and close your eyes, so we can focus on God. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us this communication tool when we close our eyes and we fold our hands and we pray, we can share and we can tell God everything that we feel and even we experience this day and we know that you listen to us. You will never be busy. You will never feel annoyed when we tell you about everything that we face. Lord Jesus, bless each and every one of them so that they will never feel lonely because they know they just need to pray when they need to tell everything in what have whatever happened in their life you will understand it lord i bless each and every one of them and give them the courage to live in a holiness to live in the righteousness and i believe that they will be the god's top agent and they will be successful in their school, in their relationship, in their family. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye. God bless you. Hi, everyone. Can't wait to make art and craft for today. And we are going to make a crab. It's pretty easy to make it. But first, you need to prepare this equipment. Okay, let's jump right into it. Take a red paper, you can use origami paper, and then we will make a circle with diameter 10 centimeters. If you want to make it bigger, it's also fine. Okay, probably like this. When you're done, you can cut it and it will look like this. Now we will make the crab's claws, eyes and legs. Okay, take a red paper and then we will draw the legs first. Fold the red paper into two parts so that we have the same leg size. Now, let's draw it. Okay, and then we will draw something for the eyes. It's like the letter U. Okay, U. Then double it like this. We only need one. Next, we will draw the gloss. How you do it is almost the same, like a letter U. Okay. Mm -hmm. And make another one. If you are done, you can cut it according to the patterns. And then it will look like this. 
This one's for the legs, something to place the eyes, and claws. Now, take the red circle paper, fold it in half, and then we just need to stick it all. This one is on the right side, yep, and stick it with a masking tape. Now, the other side, the left side. Okay, for the thing to place the eyes, we put it in the middle. It has to be in the middle. Stick it with masking tape again. Mm -hmm. Okay, last one, the claws. One on the right side. And one on the left side. You can also use a glue or a double tape if you like. Mm -hmm. Alright, once it's done, we will stick the crab's eye so that it would not be too simple. You can use a black marker or doll's eyes like this. Okay, and now we will draw the ornaments. It's something for the crab's body. All right, we can draw the crab's lip. Smile. If you're finished, do not forget to write our big message today. What is the big message? Correct. Spray it out! Yay! Do not forget to write it anywhere. Okay? Can you all do it? Good job! See you and God bless you! So kids, remember, when we are sad, we can tell anything to God. Just like Hannah, we can pour out our hearts and share our feelings or what we want. Yesterday, when I was sad, but after praying, I was no longer sad. I can talk to God in prayer. You can follow after me. I can talk to God in prayer. Yes! And now, who's ready to know what is the correct answer from the questions earlier? Hmm, how many fish are going to the left and how many fish are going to the right? The correct answer is seven! Yes, it's seven fish are going to the left and seven fish are going to the right. After counting, let me check. Can you guess how? No, 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 how? But what is the fish that will appear on Eagle Kids next week? Do you know? Hmm, don't miss it. So stay tuned and see you next week. Bye-bye!